Okay, so the low temperature detector, or Freestat, is a safety temperature switch. If installed correctly, it acts as a bulletproof override to all HVAC controls and helps protect the building's hydronic system from freezing. In this video, we'll discuss why they're used, where they're installed, how they operate, and go over a few of their basic parts. One of the most costly incidents that can occur with a building's heating system is when the fluid inside an air handler's coils freeze. This not only bursts and damages the coils, which are costly to replace, but it can create leaks and water damage and a chemical imbalance in the boiler loop. This damage can then extend to the rest of the building and create unnecessary building downtimes. So in an effort to help prevent this coil freeze up from happening, a freeze stat is installed. The temperature sensing element on the stat is called the capillary tube. And it is attached to a diaphragm that when tripped deactivates an electrical relay. The stat also contains a reset switch and a set point adjustment slide. For proper installation, the free stat device box should be attached to the duct in an easily accessible location with the reset switch clearly labeled. The temperature sensing element or capillary tube can be quite long and it must be mounted just downstream of the heating coil, but before the cooling coil. It must be far enough before the cooling coil to prevent normal cooling operations from tripping the stat. This tube is mounted by extending it back and forth across the back face of the heating coil in a zigzag horizontal serpentine pattern. Copper or plastic clips should be used to install the device and prevent it from vibrating. Now wiring the free stat properly is essential to have it operate as intended. The normally closed contact on the free stat should be wired to power up the freeze relay. Upon detecting cold air below its set point, the free stat will open its contacts and de-energize the relay. The relay is to be a three-pole relay in which only the normally open contacts are to be used. This makes the free stat system bulletproof by ensuring that the control voltage is always disconnected whenever the relay is de-energized. The first contact is for the DDC alarm. The second connects to the heating control valve and mixed air damper system. And the third is for the fan starter or VFD. It is also extremely important that the freeze relay contact is wired into the safety circuit in series with the overloads or shutdown button. Otherwise, the entire system will not function as intended. Once installed, wired, and set point adjusted, usually so that the free stat is set to trip at only a few degrees above freezing, if any one foot length of the element is subject to temperatures below the temperature set point, the free stat will open its contacts and de-energize the relay, regardless of the temperature being sensed by the remainder of the element. If the air manages to travel through the heating coil without having its temperature significantly raised above freezing, the free stat will trip. If this is the case, we no longer want to bring cold outdoor air into the unit. We want to prevent the fluid in the coil from freezing by keeping it as hot as possible and keeping it moving as fast as possible. The controls on the free stat are wired such that when a low temperature is detected, the 24 volts AC control voltage is cut off and the relay opens its contacts. This effectively disables the supply and return fans, whether they're in auto mode or manual mode. It also electrically fails the heating valve to 100% open or full heat. And it will electrically fail the mixed air damper system to fully closed. It generates an alarm at the building management system. And lastly, it turns on the heating pump via direct digital controls if it's not already running. Free stats can either have an auto or a manual type reset. It is always advisable to select and install the manual reset type of free stat. However, there are instances when the auto reset type has its place. The manual reset is advised because it requires someone to go and physically push a button on the stat in order to put the system back into normal operation. This helps to ensure that the cause of the low temperature condition is identified, corrected, and no longer exists before the unit is put back into service.
The big takeaway from this video is that the Freestat is a very important piece of equipment that is used to help prevent freeze-ups in hydronic coils. By wiring it correctly, mounting the element just downstream of the heating coil, and using the manual reset type in most applications, the Freestat can save money, reduce risk of damages, and prevent building downtime in the future. Okay, that's it. Thanks for listening.